What's up, everybody, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. If you know what's up, my name is Brandon. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking out this video. In today's video, we are going to be diving into a do-it-yourself project uh, or two projects for baby showers. Now, having a baby is probably the best blessing a mom, dad, a family could ever ask for. Um, but it also could be a time where it could be very stressful. So this video is to help you out um, if you want to have a baby shower, a baby shower on the budget, or if somebody else is planning a baby shower um, for somebody else and they don't have that much money. These are some great ideas that you can use for um, the shower that you're planning for and still make it look nice and make it memorable for the parents. Um, so if you're interested in watching um, the the projects that I create, make sure you keep on watching. So we're gonna get started on our DIY baby shower uh, decorations and a favor. So we're gonna make a centerpiece today and we're also going to put together a favor. Um, so I did go to the dollar store and if you don't already know, the dollar store does have a baby shower section and also a wedding um, section. Um, we are also going to be doing a wedding video later on. I know when I first started my channel, I did a DIY centerpiece from the dollar store, but I also want to see what else I can make um, with stuff from the dollar store. So today we're going to be doing, like I said, the, the the DIY centerpiece for the baby shower and then the favor. The favor is something really simple. Um, you can interchange it with whatever you can find from the dollar store. I just picked up what I saw and that's that. So the, the dollar store section has these like acrylic plastic um pacifiers in both pink and blue they have tags they have these like blocks that say like baby on them they have these mesh bags that you can put favors in they have colored vases they have the flowers um they have ribbon they have everything that you can think of um so Definitely the dollar store people all like I hear people say oh Going to the dollar store like I don't want my stuff to look cheap Well, actually the dollar store has a really a lot of nice things and that's what this channel is about is showing you what you can really do on a budget um, and also Making stuff that are not from the dollar store. So It's it's all just your preference and your interpretation of it like you could take some of my ideas and incorporate them into your own ideas and make you your own and if you do that i would love to see pictures um so we're gonna go ahead and get started on the centerpiece now i have um a bunch of like these little vases because i've had a lot of parties myself and i've also planned events for other people i plan baby showers um i plan weddings i have done um uh, bachelor um parties so i have a bunch of these but i also saw these two color vases um i'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. I feel like I want to, I'm thinking. I like the idea of the clear vase, but I don't have anything to put in the bottom of the vase to make it so you don't see the stem. So I think for the sake of this video, I think I'm going to use my colored vases and just to, to stick with the, the color theme. Um, but you can, do these um do this kind of vase um i prefer clear vases and like filling them with something so like beads or water or colored water um there's a, a lot of different things you can put in here sand etc um and all that is actually at the dollar store as well except for the water you buy the water at home and you can get the the coloring from the dollar store so we're going to do the centerpiece first and basically you're going to want to take some flowers um, I also have another, um, I have a mixture of flowers that I might use to give it a little bit more color. Um, so yeah, we're going to get started. Okay, so like I said, we're going to go ahead and get started on the centerpiece. So um, the nice thing about these smaller vases from the Dollar Tree, um, it's going to take less flower stems. Now it all depends on the size of your tables. Um, are they smaller tables? This would look, um, this would look fine. Um, if they're bigger tables, I'm not really sure. Um, this is the route you want to go unless you want to put something else on the table like a table number, depends how many people you have, or if you wanna put candles or pictures or whatever. Um, but if you're using a bigger table and you only want to put the centerpiece, then you definitely wanna use like something a little bit bigger, which would require more flowers. Um, but for the sake of this video, we're gonna just stick with this one. So you're gonna take um, your flowers that you found and you are going to 
cut the stems with floral cutting scissors. I think I need to get new ones or these are just really hard to break. You're gonna go ahead and cut the stems off to make them smaller and you're just gonna put them in the base. You're gonna do that with all of your stems and then you will move on to the next. And of course, the other two stems that I did came off super easy. So you win some, you lose some. So we're just gonna go ahead and put the flowers in the vase. We're gonna add some white in there just to give it a um, little bit more a different color because we don't want it to be all pink, like unless you really, if that's your style, but that's not really my style. I like to add other colors in here. That's why I'm also keeping the green leaves on here because I think it makes it look real. It makes them look fresh. And we're just gonna kind of just put them in there and spread them around just so we have the white flowers intertwined with the pink ones. Um, so they just look like one nice pretty bouquet like this. Um, now I did purchase the pacifiers and the tags. So my next step I think is to put one of the like the tags with the pacifiers hanging down the front of the uh, centerpiece. So you're gonna go ahead and feed the real little ribbon that they provided you with. They came, it came in a, like a little set. They have um, boy and girls. So you're gonna go ahead and feed the ribbon in. Oh my goodness. So it's like a square ribbon trying to go into a circle. Okay, so we're going to feed that on and we're also gonna just put this on the same one because why not? Oh, <laughs> guys, I'm not perfect. Okay, I don't know where that pacifier went, but good thing we have more. Um, if I have to put it on a different um, ribbon, I will, no big deal. Maybe I'll throw in a sparkly one, we'll see. Um, my DIY videos, guys, I kind of just go to the store and just pick up a whole bunch of stuff. Like every time I go to the dollar store, I just have a cart full of stuff. And then when I get home, that's when I kind of start playing it out. Or I just like have like an idea. I have my stuff and I just figure it out with you guys on camera. Like I like this centerpiece. I didn't even like know how I was going to do it until I sat down um, with you guys and started filming. Um, so that's a lot of when my best ideas come like I'm not really much of like a big thinker I don't like to overthink this kind of stuff um in order to be creative like it just comes naturally to me, naturally to me and I just do better when I'm just like sitting and just trying to figure it out so we're gonna go ahead and tie this around oh my goodness all right we're gonna figure this out I'll be right back Okay, so we figured it out. Um, I'm using a thicker ribbon than I had. It is just a pink and white ribbon. The lighting is kind of like weird tonight, um, but the pink and white ribbon, a little bit thicker. It went ahead on there just like so. And we just tied it in the back with a little bow. Um, so the next part of this um, project, just to give a little bit more bling because I love bling. And when you're at a baby shower, you hope to see bling. We're gonna add some of this um, this ribbon, this little diamond-like ribbon around the bottom of the vase. You could go to the bottom, you can go to the top, but I, since we have this up there, I would think I'm gonna add this down here. We are going to put a little bit of hot glue in the back of the vase because you don't want, you, you wanna do your best to cover it up, but sometimes it does show through or like, the spot where you glue is a little bit messy. So you wanna make sure it's out of sight, out of mind. And you're just gonna kind of wrap that around the vase, measure it out. We're going to cut it. And then we're going to hot glue the other, the other side. We're gonna add a little bit extra. And then we have a little bit of bling and you can also like add in, like if it seems like a little bit too loose, you can add it, add in more. And we'll pull a little bit tighter. Hot glue dries really quickly. So you need to like work fast and you might be redoing it if you are slow like me. 
then we added the bling to it. And this is a very simple, very easy, very cheap um, centerpiece that you can have for like a baby shower. Um, now, of course, you can add your own stuff to the vase. You can hand paint if you are very um, artistic like that. Unfortunately, I cannot paint. Um, that's not one of my strong abilities. Um, so you could paint like flowers on here with white acrylic paint. Um, what else can you paint? I don't, maybe you could write if the, if the parents know what the name, the name of their baby is definitely going to be. Um, you can paint the name on here or like their due date. Um, there's a lot of different varieties, a lot of different options that you can do when it's your projects. Now, I think the most joy that I get out of creating stuff for my parties is I get to make the stuff the way I want it. Um, that's why I don't like other people doing it because I have a certain vision and I won't be happy until I see my vision come to life and come to fruition. Um, so this is, I think, very cute. Um, so let's add up the cost. The vase was a dollar. The package of these was a dollar. The package of these is a dollar. And then we have three stems in here. So three, four, five, six, six dollars for this whole centerpiece. Now, it won't be six dollars per centerpiece because obviously you want to make more. So you get a package of these pacifiers. Um, there's four in this package. So you get to make four centerpieces out of a dollar. So you're basically only adding 25 cents to your centerpiece. So one, one, two, three, four. It's This centerpiece was like $5.25 maybe. Um, and then of course you had these ribbons. So there's 10 in here for a dollar. So that's 10 cents. So the centerpiece was four something like very easy, very cheap, um, and very doable. So we're going to go ahead and make a boy version matching similar like this. Um, you're going to want to add in the bling if you don't want to, because it's a boy party. Boys can have bling too. I don't like the fact that people think, oh, it's a, it's a boy event or like a boy baby shower. Like you shouldn't like, there should be like animals and stuff. Well, it's about whoever the parents are. Like if the parents are blinging people, then there better be bling. So we're gonna go ahead and do that and then we will be right back. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and move on to the boy centerpiece. Um, we're gonna do the same exact thing. We're going to take our flowers and we're going to arrange them in the centerpiece just like we did um, with the pink centerpiece. Excuse me, I kind of forgot to cut off, damn it, cut off the, um, the price tags beforehand because I wanted to get the next one started. It is late, it's like two o'clock in the morning. Cause that's when I have time. So we're gonna go ahead and cut off all of these tags. Good thing there's only three. Okay. And also you're gonna cut them with the um, floral scissors and then yeah you put them in the vase okay so we put our um, flowers in there and just like we did with the blue we're going to go ahead and take our little shiny diamond like ribbon and we are just going to glue one side down You know, I actually bought finger protectors for when I actually work with hot glue, but I haven't used them yet. I really should. Okay, so my video totally cut off, don't know why, um, but it's fixed now. So we glued the diamond-like ribbon on the bottom. We put our little blue pacifier here on the top. I'm at, cause it keeps falling like this, I'm gonna like hot glue it in place in the back here, just so it kind of stays. And then also since this, since the um, the blue um, noise maker came already tied on, I'm gonna have to tie the the other pacifier on separately. Um, so we're just gonna go ahead and do that. And then we will be right back. Okay, so now we have both of our um, girl and boy twin centerpieces. Now we're going to move on to a simple favor idea. So like I said before, they have these, um, 
these mesh bags, sacks, whatever you want to call them. Um, and, and both pink and blue, they also have white, but for this, sticking with the color scheme. Um, you can put a variety of things in here. You could put like little candies in here, chocolates, Hershey Kisses. Um, you could find like a little candle. Um, I know one idea that I saw on Pinterest was somebody, and also I've actually uh, given this exact idea away, which was, it was for a girl shower and it was a pink candle in a pink holder. And there was a note attached to it saying, um, light this candle um, when the baby is born for good blessings or whatever the note said. Um, but for this idea, we're gonna keep it very simple, very cheap. Um, we're gonna take one of the bags. We have um, pink nail polish and we have blue nail polish and we are going to zip the bag shut. You can add your little ribbon on here as well, um, but it makes it for a cute little idea. Um, the bags come eight for a dollar and each nail polishes are a dollar. So very easy, very simple. And definitely um, something to keep in mind because um, nail polish is something that if you don't use it, somebody else can. So you can always give to somebody. I know like my niece, she loves nail polish. So like if I were to go to baby shower and get nail polish, I'd probably be giving it to her because since I don't usually have nails during quarantine, there's no reason for me to have nail polish. Um, so yeah, we have our little matching favors to go with it. Like I said, mints, candies, chocolates, whatever else. They even have um, other gift bags at the dollar store and you can put together a few different things. Um, but this is something that's very easy. They also have like candles like this, where if they don't have like pink and blue, you can get one of these, add in a tag and give the candle with like a special note, um, like I said before. Um, so I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I hope you guys found this stuff useful. I hope you liked it. Um, if you didn't, that's okay. It's not for everybody, um, but make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe and join the family. I appreciate all the love and support you guys show me every single day. And I look forward to creating more with you on my next one. Bye guys.